Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing another cleaning video. This time it's going to be um, my army of Tom Toms here and the Wampa, Jabba and a couple of other little vehicles. So I've split up my cleaning videos. I'm doing this one. I'm doing one from the figures and little bits like accessories and I'm going to do another one to do with the ships. I might split up the ships into different ones depending how long it takes to clean one ship. I mean, the Rebel Transport is quite big, so I might do a separate video on each of those. So these are the vehicles that I'm going to be cleaning today, along with like Jabba and the Tontons and the Wampa. So you'll see there's the mini rigs. Uh, there's a catapult as well at the back there. I've got my trusty toothbrush. I've got a scourer for any unpainted stubborn bits. I've also got my hot soapy water with Varian and I've decided to try this today. This is like Jif, which I used to use back in the day to clean my vehicles and things. It's mildly abrasive, so I don't want to use it too much. I thought it might be an idea to use it on the Tonton bellies because as you can see, they're quite grubby and I think that will help get them a lot cleaner than they are. So I'm going to use that on the Tontons and maybe the Throne. I don't see any major marks on it though. Jabba's quite dirty. I don't know if you can tell, but his, yeah, he's quite dusty and grubby. Uh, so he needs a good clean. Uh, this looks pretty clean to me, so it won't need much. And the Wampa's not too bad. Uh, the catapult's just dusty, so it shouldn't be too much of an intense cleaning video. It's just these three split belly tontons are very dirty. So I'm not going to immerse the tontons if I can help it because they've got a metal spring inside. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got a metal spring. So I don't really want to get the metal wet. Jabba, I don't think has got any metal pieces in him. Um, he does move, but I think that's just plastic. I'm not 100%. Um, but I'll try not to immerse him too much. The throne will be fine to go in the water. This has got stickers on, so I'm not going to be immersing that. I think the womp is alright to go in, and I think the catapult is. I don't know if it's got a spring in, though, because it's sort of... It looks like it might be spring-loaded, so I'll try not to dunk that in the water. So not a lot's just going to go in the water. I'm just going to start by putting that in though, because that can definitely go in along with Jabba's throne, which uh, you can take apart. So what I'll do is I'll just put this camera back on the tripod and we will get cleaning. So to take apart Jabba's throne, there's just a couple of clips on the bottom here. You can see them. So you just have to push them in and the uh, pipe holder comes out, so that can just go in the water, it's just plastic. Inside the throne, it is just plastic as well, nothing metal that I can see, so that can just go in. It doesn't really matter about this string bit. I have got a replacement one of these, so it doesn't really matter if it gets ruined, but the string should be fine in the water. So I'm just going to dunk this straight in. Make sure it fills up inside. Okay, the other things I'm going to put in the water are the Wampa. I don't think there's anything on the Wampa that will get damaged by putting them in the water. Um, other than that, everything else is going to be just surface washed. So if I move this stuff over here, and I'll move everything I'm going to wash over here, just so I know where everything is. Right, so that's the stuff that needs to be washed. So. What I'll do is I'll start with Jabber. Um, I'm, as I said, I don't really want to dunk him in the water. I don't really want water inside him if I can help it. Um, even though I don't think he's got metal in. I think that's probably just plastic movement. So because he's quite a large figure, I will use a sponge on him to begin with. And then I'll go into all the grooves with the toothbrush.
So that's Jabba done. Um, next, I will just get rid of all the stuff in the washing up bowl just so I can concentrate on the tontons and everything. So I'll just shake out the water that's in the Wampa. See, I don't know if you might be able to see actually on the Wampa there, it's got some um, marks on him. So, hopefully, if I use the scourer, because um, he's not painted, it's not going to do any damage to the paint because there isn't any. Um, I'll try and scour away these marks on him. So, you can see straight away the marks that were there are completely gone. Wump is all nice and clean now.
for the Ewok glider, I'm just going to use a sponge because it's a large area. It doesn't look dirty at all. I don't think it's really been played with much. Just needs a surface wipe, really. Same with the pipe holder for Travis Throne. Just needs a surface wipe. Jabba throwing now. Can take the doors off of it. I didn't realize we could do that. There you go. That make it easier to clean the inside. So I'll do the doors first and just let the throne soak a little longer. Again, they just need a wipe over, they're not that dirty. I can't see any marks on them. So they're not gonna need a toothbrush. And for the throne, I'm just going to go over with a sponge and then use a toothbrush to get in all the little areas. As I said, it's not really that dirty. It's just nice just to give it a wash, just so I know it's clean. Give it a rinse, get rid of the uh, bubbles on it. Right, so then we've got the other things here. So this one has got stickers on. So if you want to keep the stickers, you have to be quite careful how to clean this. So don't get it too wet. Just use a semi-wet toothbrush just to 
go in all the cracks and get rid of any surface dirt. Obviously if it didn't have stickers on or you didn't mind the stickers getting wet, if you didn't want to keep them on there then obviously you can just go ahead and dunk it in the water. But as this has got quite a few nice stickers on, I just want to want to try and keep them if I can. It's not too dirty. The wheels were a little dirty because there's quite a lot of grooves on these and there's dirt in them, but that's gone now because of the toothbrush. There is a cavity where the figure sits, there's quite a bit of dirt inside there. Luckily with a toothbrush you can get right in there and clean it out. So you can see I didn't get it that wet, um, especially in the areas with the stickers on, so it shouldn't take too long to dry. I'll just stick it upside down. In fact, I forgot to do that bit underneath. Just do that. Shake it off. There you go. You see it's not too wet and the stickers are still in place. I'll do the catapult next and then we'll go on to the tontons because they're like the biggest job. Again, I'm not going to immerse this. Um, I don't know if there's a spring in there, but obviously it is the sort of spring up and down, so I think there might be inside. It's just dusty on the surface, so I'm just going to give it a clean all over. Use a sponge for any stubborn marks. So I've just noticed underneath there are actually some metal screws there. So I don't really want to get them too wet. I mean you could dismantle it but I don't really want to have to do that. So I'll just have to dry. Then we've got the tontons. So we'll start with the easier one. It's the solid belly one. The split belly ones have more dirt on them. So for this, I would again just go over it with a sponge and then do toothbrush all over just to get in all the grooves and things. His horns look quite dirty there. I 
obviously again if it's not in a painted part you can use the scourer and if you want to that is obviously you don't have to but um, I just find it gets rid of any surface like rubs some other plastic toys Now there is a cavity inside each of the tontons. Um, I will just quickly put a semi-dry toothbrush in there, just to get any surface dirt out. I don't want to break it by forcing it, but it shouldn't be too bad because it's closed all the time, so it shouldn't get too dusty inside. Uh, so yeah, that's the first tonton done. I'll just rinse them off. Try and put him upside down just so if there is any water inside it will drain out. Let's see if I can get his leg round. There we go. <laughs> it may look a bit weird, <laughs> but it will just help dry the figure. So then we've got the three split belly tontons in varying degrees of dirtiness, as you can see on the bottom. So I'm going to use the cream cleaner here and um, just on the belly parts and see if it cleans it up. So I'll start with the dirtiest one, this one, and what I'll do is I'll just give it a surface clean and then we'll use the cleaner on it and we'll see if it does anything. So you can see the uh, surface clean hasn't had much of it, just the surface dirt seems to have come off a little bit. So I'm going to try and put a bit of cleaner on. As you can see it's like, um, it's similar to GIF or SIF I think it's called now. But I'm just going to gently put that on the belly part and just see if that gives it any more of a clean. So you can see it's had a little bit of effect, um, 
but it's still very brown. I don't know whether that's just the age, and I think this is rubber. Um, so I'm going to keep going for a little bit on this and just see if that makes any difference. So what I'll try next is I'll use the scour a little bit on here and just see if it will get rid of more. Because it's just plain rubber, it's not going to do any harm just to try it see if it does any good. Putting a bit of the cleaner on the unpainted bits as well, just so um, it gives it a thorough clean because this one is very dirty. Um. There we go, All right, rinse it off. See, I think that's this one done. I mean, there's still some brown spots on it, but you can see it's a hell of a lot different to what it used to be <laughs> before I started cleaning it. So that's worked quite well. I'm going to use the same technique on the other two, just do a surface clean on them, and then go in with the cleaner uh, on the rest of the figure. So if I leave that one to dry. And let's get on with the others. So just for comparison, that's the second one, how dirty it is, and we'll see how clean we can get that belly.
So again, you can see the belly has come up really nice and clean. That's lovely. That's just the effect I wanted. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Just let him dry. And then the final one. Again, you can see his belly is really dirty. So you can see on this one the belly is a little cleaner, it's not come up as nice as the other one there. Um, I don't know if that's just the, something to do with the rubber, maybe it's further gone on here. But it doesn't seem to be coming off very well. Maybe with a bit more work it might, I might go over it again with the scourer. So you can see here I've got it a little cleaner with the scourer. I think with a bit more work that will come up a little nicer, but that will do for the moment. I don't want to damage it by rubbing it too much with like abrasive stuff like the scourer. So I'm going to leave him as that. He's a lot better than he was. So you can see here, here's the items drying. And the ones that weren't gone, the draining board, I'll probably put some kitchen towel under there just to help the drying process and not get the side too wet but yeah a nice and um, productive cleaning session as you can see the tontons have come up really nice um 
I'm not going to keep all four of my Tontons. I basically bought two different lots and I'm just picking the two best ones. One solid belly and one open belly one. The other two Tontons will go on eBay. If you don't know, I've got an eBay seller page. I list it on all my videos so you can go and check out my items if you're interested. I sell off the unwanted parts of my collection and unwanted cards and DVDs, Blu-rays, anything I don't want in my collection anymore. So if you check out my eBay, as I said, it's down below. Other than that, guys, please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos and I'll see you all soon in the next video and I'll be cleaning some figures. So I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.